Storms create uh, unique challenges for power companies. To some people it means an outage or a disruption of service, and to others the creation of hazards that can harm them. Storms also expose the vulnerabilities in decaying, deteriorated, old, or uncared for infrastructure. Components of the infrastructure that aren't in good shape, that are not in proper condition, are more susceptible to damage in storms. And that type of damage can result in wires coming down and people being killed. There is a second risk posed by storms to power companies. Many people don't realize it, but power companies hire their own team of weathermen, meteorologists, and they have to anticipate and deal with weather events throughout the course of their year. There is something called a war room that is employed by power companies where they literally plot out on a map the various locations of outages, storm damage, or brownouts so that they can target areas in greatest need of storm restoration work or public safety intervention. In the war room, a team of employees of the, of the power company will plot out on a map the areas in greatest need for attention, both in terms of restoration of power uh, and also in terms of protecting the public from hazards that have been exposed by the storm. As a lawyer, this is significant because it's crucial that areas of greatest hazard are identified as quickly as possible so that wired down personnel can be stationed there to protect the public until the repairs can be made or the lines can be de-energized.